Chadson Bowls Club in Melbourne's southeast faces a public fight for its very existence. The club's land is central to a proposed netball and basketball stadium development by the local council, which would see the club evicted from its home of nearly 60 years. The club brought the issue to a head recently with a viral video parodying Beyonce's All The Single Ladies, which has garnered media attention worldwide from the likes of the New York Times and Daily Mail UK. We caught up with a number of Chadson Bowls Club members, including their president and the architect behind the viral video, to learn a little bit more about the issue. This site has been home to Chatty Bowls Club since 1958. We have over 600 members, mostly elderly. Stonington Council wants to evict us, bulldoze the site and build an indoor stadium for netball and basketball. This isn't logical and isn't fair. Well, we knew that if we could just get the message out to the wider community that um, they would think that, as we do, that this just wasn't right. So we thought about how do we do that, um, looked at my own children, social media was the way to go. So I had a bit of a think, thinking what gets out there is something that's funny, endearing. So I thought, why don't we do a, a video? Beyonce's single ladies. Bowling ladies seemed to work. I asked a couple of the ladies if they'd be in for it. They were. We did the video. Next thing you know, 1.1 million hits. It's, it's been fantastic. The, I hadn't seen the, the, the video before it came out. Uh, it was all kept very much under wraps. <laughs> the, uh, the ladies that had organised it all um, and, and, uh, and the video maker kept it all under wraps before it was released. So not even me as president saw it before it got out. And, uh, I was in Darwin on holidays and saw it up there and it was fantastic. It's just uh, the, the best thing that we could do and it shows that what a, what a, um, what a club we are. Yeah, we're a happy club. Uh, we're also a proactive club. Um, we, you know, we're, we're moving forward, taking, taking all the electronics and everything else into, into the process. So um, um, yeah, it, was, it was really great to see it and, uh, and the, the results, um, the amount of feedback we've been getting from people all over the place, local and overseas. Um, you know, East Malvern residents, um, they're all very much behind us. So uh, it was fantastic. Yeah, what I think it has done, even though this is a local issue and the video is endearing and it's funny, but people get on board because it doesn't matter where you live. If something is wrong, something is wrong. And people want to say, I support you. And yes, that is wrong. We're not necessarily opposed to what the council want to do in terms of the, building the indoor stadium. What we are opposed to doing is having it located at this site. So we prefer the council to look at other alternative sites and they've recently passed a motion to look at other alternative sites, which we're very pleased about. However, Chadston Bowls Club site is still one of four sites the council is actively uh, looking at at the moment. It'd be terrible. I mean, just personally, you know, I, I don't see myself going anywhere else to play bowls. Um, it's handy. Um, I know we have so many members that have been around for such a long time and they, you know, they, they use it as their social outlet. They use it as a, a place to, um, to meet people and uh, come down, have a drink, enjoy the company of other people and to get some fitness. I mean, I'm not the fittest person in the world, but uh, if I didn't have bowls, I'd probably just be sitting in front of the TV doing nothing. So uh, that's... Um, it's my outlet, gets me out of the house. There's people here who've got, who've got their friends, they've got the social interaction and the social networks. And uh, for some of the older people to, to go somewhere else and try and rebuild that social standing amongst, the, uh, amongst their peers, it's just, I just don't see them, seeing them really able to do that. Um, they've got such, yeah, such good friendships and stuff around the place. We, you know, we like to think that we're a friend, friendly club. Yeah, look, we love it. Um, 
we're doing our bit as far as retaining the bowls club. No point in putting down pulling down the club to put something else here, um, but also the community are behind it too. And we're getting a fair amount of support from the community. They're coming into the club on a Friday night, sit and have a drink, have a chat, whatever, um, walk in off the street, see what's happening. So yeah, the community is very involved. I think we're really lucky in this community. We're a very tight-knit community. This is an intergenerational club, even though we have uh, a lot of older members. We do have um, the local school and their parents coming over on a Friday. Uh, we have people that play, grandfathers and grandsons playing together. Um, so it is a social hub and, and that's fantastic, not only for the bowling nature of the club, but for many of our older members, it's their social connection to their community. Unfortunately, I think bowls clubs are particularly um, uh, vulnerable. So I would say to bowls clubs out there, make sure you don't get into a position like we have been, where you have to fight for your, um, to save your club. Start looking at what you can do now so that you don't get into this position. I'd encourage all bowlers throughout Australia to get behind this campaign because if it's not Chatty Bowls Club, it could be your bowls club next, particularly on council owned land. And uh, as you can see, having been here for 58 years, it doesn't preclude us from being in the gun and being evicted from this site. So all bowls throughout Australia, we certainly welcome your support and get right behind us.